<laughs> Hello there. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, but I'm on the top of Porsche Ray Ski Resort at the moment. I'm going to take a shot of this behind me. I'm going to take a shot of the tops of these mountains behind me. Probably zoomed in at about 200 mil. And I'm gonna do a pano. So I'll get my tripod and camera set up and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. very windy up here what I've got let me just turn this up a bit I don't know if you can see that probably not I'm zoomed right into the top of those mountains there and uh, I'm doing a pano so the the mountains you can see in the very center of this shot here is what I'm zoomed in on. Hang on, let me put my camera into video mode. This is what we're zoomed in on. And uh, I'm doing a pano from left to right to about here. There's some dark, dark clouds behind. And I can probably crop it after, well, I'll definitely crop it afterwards because it's gonna be a massive file. Uh, the sun's up to the right of me up here. So it's shining some light onto those peaks over there. Uh, but there's dark cloud behind, so we've got the white, we've got the white mountain tops. Some dark, some dark rocky sections in the front. And uh, hopefully it's gonna make for a nice pano. We'll see, it's very hard up here. It's very windy. And uh, I can't really get to, not, not many places are accessible. Uh, trying to snowboard on compacted ice is not fun. So I'll see what I can make from here and then I'll see if I can find anything from anywhere else. But uh, hopefully this is a good shot and this is it. I'm uh, ducked down behind this this ridge here, just out of the sun, and zoomed in to these peaks up the top here. I've got them in the middle. I'm shooting at 16 by nine. So they're across the uh, middle of the frame with some sky in the background and some of these rocks in the foreground. There's some side light coming from the top right up here so it's giving shadows and a uh, bit of contrast and depth to the mountains over there which you can't really pick up from this um, video footage but I can see it and you'll see it in the uh, final image so I'm at f11 uh, one two hundredth of a second uh, and it's uh, looking like a nice shot so I'm gonna take this and I might do a pano of it as well and um, if if it's any good this is the shot
Can you see that behind me? That's what I just saw coming down on the ski lift. So I've just driven back up the mountain to uh, try and get a shot. But the rain started coming in now. But that's giving it a bit of atmosphere and there's still some nice light. So I'm just climbing up here a bit and I'm gonna get the camera out and point it in that direction and then I'll uh, I'll get back to you so I'm zoomed into this bit up here I'm at about 90 mil and I'm having to keep wiping the rain droplets off of the uh, front of the lens f11 I've done uh, a landscape and a portrait I'll just zoom in there. Look. That section up there, it's absolutely beautiful. If I spin you round and you look at the other direction, you can see the difference. Blue skies, mountains covered in sunlight. Oh, that looks nice up there too, actually. I have to get a shot of that but it's these peaks up here in the corner in the center of that shot that's what caught my eye 3d when you're in the mountains and you've got the cloud and the snow and then light rain coming through you've just got this 3d effect I've done a portrait what I might do it's just a quick pano in portrait mode of that section there. Hopefully that's some nice shots so if they are, excuse the wind, if they are then I will uh, I'll post them up now for you to enjoy. Hello, I'm on the top of the Pyrenees, high up in the mountains again, and we've got some dramatic skies and uh, snow-capped mountains here. I'm just shooting handheld because I'm at uh, one uh, five hundredth of a second at f8 and just zooming into bits like this over here and doing a 16 by 9 so I get a fair bit of these mountains in. It's raining a bit and the weather is changing you know every couple of minutes. It's sunny, it's cloudy, it's raining, it just keeps changing between the two so. Uh, what else can I say really? 
absolutely stunning place and I will continue to take shots whilst I'm up here for uh, the next couple of hours and we'll see what what sort of weather we get and whether we get some direct light rays coming through from underneath these these dark clouds or not but uh, every time I find something that I want to point the camera at and take a shot of I'll uh, I'll bring you with me look at this look at the dramatic clouds just had to grab a quick shot of that amazing it's gonna keep uh, coming back and waiting for bits of light with the cloud and keep taking shots and see which ones turn out the best but can't really go wrong here can we look at it amazing Look at this, dramatic skies with light, and mountain peaks. I'm standing here just watching the different clouds roll over these mountains. There's some really dark, nasty bits of cloud like this up here, but there's there's also quite a lot of light creeping through onto the tips of the mountains over here. Doing a few different shots. Some, some zoomed in, some wider. This is one that I've taken about this sort of uh, 24 mil full frame. So it's about that, what you can see there. It's just rolling through. One minute it's raining, one minute it's snowing, one minute it's sunny, then it's hailing. It's just changing constantly. So just standing here, enjoying the view and taking shots as and when you get bits of cloud that roll over the top of the mountains and mimic the same shape of the mountain. I'm taking a few shots like that. I was going to go up higher but it's just pure cloud up there so I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything. But this is a pretty spectacular view anyway. So just make the most of this and the drama in the sky the texture in the clouds is amazing you get the odd cloud come through the middle of this valley behind this peak here and roll through underneath as well which is quite nice hopefully there's some good shots from here uh, I'm sure there is can't can't really go wrong can you but um, yeah it's all fast shutter speed so I don't need my tripod I'm carrying two tripods and I don't need any of them just handheld low ISO quite a fast shutter speed nice I've got my hot wine and I've taken a good few shots of this place and these mountains behind so I'm going to call it a day now and head back down but thanks for watching and I hope you like these images of uh, this amazing place in the Pyrenees 
known as uh, Corsure. Anyway, thanks for watching.